In this video, we will see how to quickly fix any production error using Chrome's local override feature and we will also see how to fix any type of course error. So the local override feature was already provided in Chrome a lot uh, before. So you can see I have already published a video three years ago explaining how to use local overrides. But with the new Chrome version 117, which was released in the last month, it has made really easy to use that feature. So let me show you. So this is the application which I have deployed to Netlify. It just displays list of random users. But right now it's blank. I'm not able to see. So this is deployed on production. So how can I debug this code? What's wrong in this particular application? So for that, I have the local code here available with me. So I know that there is this uh, API call going on and which displays this list of users. So I can search for this results equal to. So to search for in the your source code so go to sources so by default it's element go to sources and you can press command option f or you can if you are on windows uh, you can uh, search for Control shift f and then you can search for the text that you want to find so you can see now i got that text here so this is the actually generated final code which is rendered in the browser so I want to debug this code, but I cannot add here console.log say hello. So if I try to uh, do this and refresh this, you will see that that console.log is gone. So I cannot debug this. So instead of that, what you can do is you can use click on these two arrows and here there is option of overrides. So here you can select click on this plus icon and from desktop i have created this empty folder overrides folder i have just given name you can click on select and then it will ask you for allowing access to that one now after allowing you can again refresh this so you can see here override section now we have new folder created overrides folder so whatever changes you make will be you can die will be persisted so now i can again close this command option f search for results you get this data so this is the file so i can save this so what i can do is i can add console.log hello you can see as soon as i save you get this file you can see even if after refresh even if after refresh it's still there so you can see this hello printed so this way you can easily debug so i can add a breakpoint here so i will add a breakpoint here let me refresh this and i can see what's going on so i can debug this and you can see it's going inside catch so there is some error but i am not able to find out what's the actual error so what you can do is you can add this url and we can see if that's the error so this url is i have not purposefully not set this environment variable while deploying but i don't know so what i can do is i can log this variable env now it will print that variable so when i let me continue this and if i refresh You can see env is undefined so this variable environment variable does not exist so i have not created that that's why the api call is failing so i can get that data let me go to the application site configuration and i can set that environment variable you can see there is no environment variable i can add environment variable let me check the name white so this is application created using vidjs so all the environment variable must start with vid underscore now i'll add this create variable and i will redeploy this application so when you add or update any environment variable you need to redeploy so i will click on clear cache and deploy now i can go to site overview uh, deploys and here you can see deployment is going on 
So once this is deployed, I will be back. So as you can see, deployment is complete. So I will go back here, refresh this application again. So you can see it's still blank. There is, uh, it's not working. So we can again add this. So what I can do is I can again clear this. Go to here, file system. Go to overrides. Select the folder. So let me go to the desktop. I will delete this previously created folder. Now I will select this. Click on allow. So we will not have previously cached data. So now here I can again let me close this. Search for results. You get this. So I can add a breakpoint here. So you can see I am not able to add breakpoint. So sometimes it does not work. So what you need to do is, you know that this is the file. So if I go here, this is not the file, this is the file. So you can select override content. So you need to right click of that on that file and select override content. Now it's available for overriding. So if I search, you can see it's available. So I can click on these curly brackets to format it nicely. So you can see it's formatted and I can add a breakpoint here. So you can see it's still, I'm not able to add a breakpoint. So sometimes that won't happen. So what you can do is you can right click on this file, open containing folder. So you can open that file in your uh, VS code or any other editor. So you can see this is the file, entire file. I can select format document. And here I can search for random user. You can see here is the actual code that is formatted. So I can add a debugger here and save that file. So as soon as I save that file, and if I go back to browser, refresh this, you can see it stops at that particular location. And the I I am getting this uh, pop up saying, Would you like to reload the file? So I will click on OK. I will continue. So let me refresh it again. Now you can see it stopped at that particular breakpoint that we have added. So I can debug line by line. So I can see that R. So we are getting the results, result of that API. So if you want to see this in better way, you can go to console and type that variable name so r contains your entire data but your users are there in the results array so what i am doing i am directly assigning r so if you see here main dot where it app dot jsx set user see the state i should assign data dot results so that was the mistake i did directly assign data so this is the entire data and the actual users contains in the results are. That's why it was not working. So I can go to this file again and I can fix that issue. Results. So it should be from results. So if I save this file and let me continue here. If I refresh, you can see it stopped again. I will continue and now you can see it's fixed so you are able to get that data printed let me remove this breakpoint so you can see we are able to successfully load that data so this way without directly accessing production code you can fix your application breaking application because you have your local code so you know where is the actual functionality breaking like you can add a breakpoint here and right click on the file select override content and it will be available so and you can open that file and make the changes and debug the code and what's going on wrong so this is a great way provided by chrome dev tools which makes it easy to identify and fix any type of error so now this is working you can see now it's working so this is only on your development environment. This has not, this is not fixed on the actual, this production website. 
so because we have enabled this local override we are able to fix this issue so once you are done with fixing issue make sure you uncheck this otherwise it will always use your local environment data it will not use the actual production url data so if i clear this and if i refresh this you can see we still have that error but you know you now know that what's the actual error so you can fix that error and push the changes to production so i can i know everything is fixed so i can commit this code so this is let me see app.jsx you can see i have fixed that issue here there is nothing so i can commit this fixed issue you can push this code and now it will be deployed so go back to deploys so you can see it's building so it will once it's deployed i'll be back now you can see the deployment is complete so if i refresh this page you can see it's working now so everything is working and we are able to successfully fix that issue so that's how you can use local overrides feature to fix any production issue but make sure you disable this uh, local override otherwise it will always use your local environment copy now we will see how to fix course error so i have this uh, w3 schools ajax example i can click on write out so when i click on this get cd collection we get this artist and title so if you see here this application is using this particular xml file so I can I have copied this code as it is in index.html and I have referred this direct XML file. So this file is present. This CD catalog dot XML file is present here. I have copied that URL here as it is and will run it on the live local. So I will right click open with live server and you can see this. Let me close it. Let me open the console. Zoom in this. Make this bigger. Now, when I click on Get My CD Collection, we are getting course error because this file is hosted on W3 schools, and I am trying to access it from my local machine. So, browser does not allow that. So, we are getting course error. No access control allow origin header is present. But with this new chrome 117 version latest version you can easily fix that error by modifying the response head. so you can go to source a uh, network tab let me make this bigger i can reload the page click on this and this is the course error i can right click you can see override headers feature is there so right click and select override header select the folder so you can select the same overrides folder select this allow and now we can modify the response headers so here you can see these are the response headers so what the error is saying it's saying no access control allow origin header is present so i can go to network and here scroll down in the response header so you can see this is request headers and we have response headers so in the response headers i can click on add header enter the name of this and for the value i provide star star means everyone can access that now i will save this i will save this and i don't need to press ctrl s so just save this change and refresh the page now when i let me clear this when i click on this you can see we are not getting error now it's working properly so we are successfully able to fix any type of course error easily using this local override feature so whenever it's failing so right now i have enabled this local override so if i refresh this without that and click on this you will get that error it's the error is there but using this local override you can fix this i just right click override headers select the folder select the name of this particular folder select allow 
and now you can modify this particular response headers so you can add header name of this enter star value and now i can refresh this page so when i click on this you can see we are getting this data so that's how you can easily fix course error in your application by modifying the response header directly through the network panel so i hope you have learned a lot in this video if you found this video useful do like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel